Glenn, what's happening here today? Uh, so I'm running a uh, Riverfly training session. So I'm training some volunteers up on the Tillingbourne stream uh, how to monitor the invertebrates within the river. What benefit does this have? Uh, so the invertebrates um, in the river can give us an idea of how clean the water is um, and they're perfect indicators of picking up pollution incidents as well as giving us a good idea of um, uh, how they they um, how well they are spread across the river catchment. Right, and uh, we've been in the water here today. It's teeming with wildlife. So, uh, would you say then that's a good indicator that we're uh, we've got a very healthy river hit, river here? Yeah, the Tillingbourne is uh, it's a beautiful. It's a chalk stream. Um, it's got some cracking habitat in it. Some nice, deep, fast-flowing areas. Some uh, sandy bars. Lots of vegetation. And uh, the more habitats you have, the more life you have. Ah. And finally, Glenn, can you just give us an indication of some of the wildlife that we've seen here today? Yeah, so we've, well, we've had nearly all the eight uh, families of species we're looking for. We've had, um, we've had mayflies, uh, we've had caddis flies, caesus caddis. Um, we've seen uh, some of the freshwater shrimp. Um, we've had damselfly as well, and we've even had the, uh, the one we didn't necessarily want to find, but which is very widespread, which is a signal crayfish. Okay, so what have you been doing here today? Well, we've been learning, first of all, we learned about all the creepy crawlies that we were going to find in the river. And now we've actually been coming down and fishing for them. It's been fantastic. It's been uh, just like being a kid again. And it's amazing the amount of life that there is teeming in this river. Yeah. And then this afternoon, what we're going to do is to look at those under the microscope and we're going to identify them and see how much we, we've remembered from this morning's session. Wonderful. And uh, what have you enjoyed the most about today? Well, I think it's the hands-on, which is such a, a, a great thing, because when you're learning, it's really great to be able to put anything you've learned into action. So actually being here in the water with, with my, my fellow volunteers has been uh, a really great experience. And actually, it brings us all together. And we're all going to do different stretches of the River Tillingbourne uh, and become a sort of new community, helping to monitor the health of uh, our lovely river. And it must be uh, quite rewarding for you as somebody who lives literally right on this river to know that how healthy it is and that it is teeming with wildlife and um, you know it's been well looked after well it's great to know that the river is healthy and is is doing well uh, and but what we've also learned is how to make it better mm. and um, how we can encourage biodiversity by having these different areas in the river getting rid of the invasive species uh, and actually uh, caring for it properly so we feel much happier now as landowners if you like to do uh, the right thing by this river that we're guardians of if you like for the next few years Lovely. Thank you very much.